there are so many musical, talented people across yes. the shows. When is a, a musical crossover going to happen? There will be music. It won't be a musical, but there will be, there will be, I mean, you heard Victor Garber speak. I mean, you can imagine the voice on that man. So yeah, there'll be, um, there'll be show tunes this season. Um, I don't know. I mean, doing a fully musical episode, uh, let's wait a season. <laughs> I'd rather do animated or I'd rather do the quiet episode. I'd rather do MOS before we do music. Yeah. You uh, inherited a very big development for Sarah from Arrow Laurel died. How did you learn that that was happening and get the chance to address it via Legends? Well, you know, lucky we have Mark on the show, so we have a direct line of communication. Um, you know, they work 50 feet from our office. Um, you know, it's great. Things like that are great. Complications are your friend when you're writing television. Uh, that's like grist for the mill. Um, giving her, um, you know, an entirely different agenda in season two. There's, there's nothing better. Um, and it really, you know, it helped, it helped ground uh, season two, which is all about, you know, fixing these time aberrations, which are fun, rompy, going to various, you know, it's nice to leaven that with, like, actual heartbreak. Um, because, you know, that's the, that's the trick to our show. It can get too silly, and every time it gets too silly, you have to ground it with some real pathos, and any time it has too much pathos, you're like, this is a time travel show. Why are we, like... Why are we taking it so seriously? So it's a very strange tone because you want it to be real. You want these characters to be real at the same time. You know, it, it's it's absurd. You know, and it's it's that trick of, of having it having the people feel real and yet the adventures are obviously larger than life and completely crazy. So yeah. with the JSA coming in at yeah. the end of the last uh, in the finale, yeah. um, will we spend um, season two mostly in the future? Or? No, oh. no. Uh, I'm. I mean, we will go to the future, but for me, the fun of doing a time travel show is it passes something we already know what it looks like, and taking people to iconic um, eras. Like I thought, the Wild West worked very, very well. I mean, you know, playing with genre, like uh, the Joe Dante episode 108, where they went back to the 50s. You know, that B movie. It was fabulous. Yeah, I mean, just living in a recognizable genre is what I think our show does. Best because every aesthetic choice is then informed by, you know, to the clothes, to the attitudes, to the story, subject matter, you know, and you can take on serious things like we had, uh, we did the sexuality with the, the, the closeted, um, you know, gay nurse. We did racism with Jax being, uh, you know, sort of, um, you know, picked on by the, the local, you know, high school kids. And, and you know, to, to me, re examining. Uh, the history of, of our country and our world is that's the fun of the show and the sort of what if moments you know what if um, you know something had happened a little differently at, on Dallas in 1963 or you know what you know so we w we will be doing these iconic uh, historical moments with recognizable historical figures because to me you know we had little things with like you know HG Wells and we had a we had a little shout out to Bill Gates at a certain point but like season two you're going to see the icons of the 20th century and, and uh, you know you're you're going to have those versions of the Forrest Gump kind of moments with our guys you know trying to fix history but at the same time getting to play a part in in, in, in these recognizable you know eras well we obviously the Bowling Universe have talked about a four show crossover yeah and then we know that's going to happen have you ever reached out thought about a crossover with another production company saying Doctor Who yeah oh man <laughs> Yeah, who knows what the the lawyers would spend a lifetime <laughs> trying to do that. Yeah, um, yeah that's. It, it, that, I mean, I tune in. Yeah. Do you know anything about how the events of season two of the Flash will impact on season two? Of, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, I, I believe we haven't we haven't actually broken it yet, but obviously that you know. That's, uh, 
the nexus for our, for our crossovers. I I imagine. Um, you know, I wish. You know, in a week from now we'll have broken that. So I wish I could say more. Um, but yeah, our, our show has largely been uncoupled from the other shows. Uh, but I think I think you know this season we'd like to to, to bring them back together um, um, more often. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the, the different time periods? Yeah. Be the Could you tease maybe? Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I need to wrap him. Okay, cool. I mean, within yeah. the pilot, we will do deep prehistory. We will do. You know, we'll find. I mean, we'll, we'll, it's like a. You know, we will touch on uh, a handful of places that you have never ever been to on network television or otherwise. Um, so it's like, yeah, and we'll spend the rest of the season trying to um, pay for it. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> I like the way you think.